Good morning and happy holidays. I plan to stream this morning till probably like noon or one or so. And then I'll figure out if I'm doing anything later. Or at least what time I'm doing stuff later with my roommate's family. Just it's nice to have so nice to just go somewhere on this day. And if I don't then well, either way I'm probably gonna be streaming at least once or twice more today. Anyway, one way or another. And then, yeah. So, anyway, we are we are starting this morning off with Wayward. Nice little fun roguelike survival game that's turn-based too. Like when you move, things happen. When you don't, they don't. <laughs> it's pretty pretty simple concept, but it can be a little uh, interesting to do, get things done. But. Before I begin, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund, which helps support freedom for LGBTQ folks in the in the in the sense of um, like bail and like legal funds and stuff, because LGBTQ folks are disproportionately affected by um, just discrimination and those kind of things. So yeah, I'm trying to help with that. <laughs> if you can tell, I'm not looking at the sheet thingy, like the web link or whatever, so I'm just trying to make sure I'm tell telling you all about it without just reading off the script, because that's a little less fake, <laughs> I guess. Anyway, if you're, if you're able or willing to support that, um, I've got a link, I've got a donate button below my stream. I have a donate command, exclamation point donate, and every so often, my chatbot shares the link as well, as well as my Discord link. My headset just decided it wanted to turn off. I need to get a different headset at some point. Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, y'all choose to support the fundraiser. It's super appreciated. So let's see. I can't imagine too many people are going to be watching this morning since, you know, it's Christmas Eve. So a lot of people are like either still asleep or they're doing family stuff. So I totally understand if there's not too many people here today, but yeah. So let me go ahead and get the ball rolling. Where's Steam? Merry Chrysler. Merry Crisis. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? My good, sweet friend. Happy holidays. It's been a wonderful year, and you've been part of why, and so thank you. I'm doing, I'm doing all right. I could be doing a lot worse, all things considered. Oh, I'm not that excited. There we go. <laughs> Alright. How's your morning going, 3Gs? How's your advent cal calendar going? I know you're still doing that, probably. Hey, we're gonna expand this garden out, I think. Oh no, well, now you, get, now you get to double down. Surgery confirmed for Tuesday. Hot dog. I'm doing alright. My, my roommate is visiting her partner in another state for the holidays, so I'm here by myself, but I'll, I might, I'll probably be going and visiting with some of her family um, 
today and maybe tomorrow as well. So I'm not gonna like buy myself and even if I was, I'd probably be just fine because, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'll just I'd just like watch YouTube videos and like scratch my ass and go to sleep or something like that. <laughs> Uh, it's not the bit, not a big deal for me, really. Uh, compost. What do I have that? Let's uh, just put that down. <sighs> uh, my my per personally, my family not very, not very. <clears throat> just a lot of weird stuff happened growing up. Not like, not like, yeah, just kind of a lot of weird stuff happened, and yeah. <clears throat> and nowadays, like, my mom has a lot of boundary issues like all the time and I'm not really I don't vibe with that so there's a lot of fucking beach sand here which is good we can use all this beach sand to like you know make stuff but oh, if we did finally clear that bit out there <coughs> excuse me yeah it's 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 the weirdest thing is like it's like growing up like I was partially just like kind of ignored kind of like just given stuff and been kind of like not really pay much of attention to I have an older sister and I don't blame it on her fuck off little monster <laughs> I don't blame it on her because like how how or why would I blame it on my sister who didn't really ha choose for my mom to act that way you know I'm not gonna pin that on my sister. She didn't really have any choice in that. All right, let's just keep digging up sand. Good morning, Ash. I know it's an, I know it's a pretty rough morning for you, but hopefully I can at least help in some way. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I understand. There's always so much you can really do. Hey, absolutely. Totally, I totally understand. Oh, that's... That's almost the worst. It's like... <clears throat> yeah. Not, not against folks that live at home with like their parents or whatever. Yay, I'm family. Yay. Also, my family now smiling face with hearts. Smiling face with hearts indeed. I, I consider a lot of my online friends and people that I've met closer to family than my actual families, honestly. So, I'm yeah. <laughs> I'm just like digging without any looking at my shovel. My shovel shovel's got a lot of durability, never mind. <laughs> yes! <laughs> right, character's a little, um. Oh, I can drink some water, actually. Let's grab one of these bottles. Character's like exhausted because I've been just digging sand all morning. drink in front and then we'll grab some more seawater and just pour it in there and there we go water processing is happening
Yeah, eventually we can use all this beach sand for glass, like bottles and stuff, but for now it's just kind of has to like exist on the beach. Not in sand form, but like in pile of sand form. Because I'm trying to expand my garden out, and unfortunately I don't have much room this way, so I gotta make room this way, which means digging up... I don't have to dig up the beach sand for that, but I kind of want to, because the beach sand is useful. For various things. Kind of a damned if I do, damned if I don't situation. Fine, take a nap on the beach in a pile of sand. <laughs> Slept for like three hours. <clears throat> Hello, Mabus. Meowie, meowie, quit messy. Hello, Ryan. Thank you so much. You, of course, have also been a big part of the this year being livable and great. So thank you. Hope your holidays are going great. <clears throat> we are we are just digging a lot of sand. <laughs> Fuck yeah, video games in a bowl. Fuck yeah. Oh, well, didn't mean to do that. Let's uh put that back down. Yeah, I'm trying to expand my garden that I have here, but the sand is in the way, and I would... Oh yeah. I like I like this game. Yeah, gardens are really good, good for, well, food, <laughs> you know. I'm just gonna have to make another pile of fucking sand. Like, my be the beach over here is a mess. <laughs> like an absolute fucking mess but yeah I want to expand the, the garden out this way and up here so we can have a lot more spots for stuff and we're gonna keep digging until we're out of stamina again and then we'll sleep like we're supposed to and I can show you my animals I have some uh, creatures that I have um, partially against their will <laughs> on my hitching posts <clears throat> Well, so, a few of them are constantly being tamed for XP, but some of them um, are not, and they're just kind of there because they're literally, yeah, basically, it's like, like I think I like like a spider that's kind of just there against its will, I'm just like, well, you're here now. When you're here, you're family. Just gotta keep digging sand. Surprised I haven't gotten more uh, strength level ups from all this digging. Cause oh, speak of the devil, there we go. There's one. That just gives us a bit more damage, a bit more carrying capacity, all that fun garbage. <clears throat> when we were exploring to find iron uh, last last stream, we found a bunch of uh, orbs of. Um, we could find a bunch of these orbs of um, orbs of influence, and we use them to reduce our malignity by a lot. So that gives us a lot of points we can spend on leveling up, which will make us more powerful. Okay, let's drop sand. I'm gonna take a slight stamina hit to move to drop more sand. Cause the reason I'm piling all the sand up on the floor like this is because we can actually use it to make glass. So I would like to do that with all the sand because it just makes better stuff. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna just move this clay somewhere else. <clears throat> this beach is a mess. <laughs> mm. 
The problem with my mining skill getting as high as it is that sometimes you don't lose stamina while you're doing stuff, which is not always a problem, but considering I'm trying to like just dig up stuff, run out of stamina, and go to sleep, it's a little bit of a problem. I'm too good. I'm too powerful. Well, I guess these logs are getting moved too. More, more sand. This pile can hold one more bit of sand. <laughs> one more bit of sand there. Maybe not. It depends on like how the weight of the sand on what and if it can fit in places. Some 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 piles of sand are bigger than others. So we're just gonna have to like throw that there. You know what? At this point, let's just let's, let's sleep. Let's start a fire. In our little little cavern home that we kind of have, got a little escape tunnel over there. Got a little workroom down here, and most of the floor is covered in rocks. <laughs> okay, let's take a sleep. Excuse me. Oh, let's see what happened. You are dying of de dehydration. Your sleep has been interrupted by something hurting you. We slept for nine hours, woke up like dehydrated as shit. Same. Just like sleeping and then like partially wake up because like, uh, my throat is so dry. We gain the next dexterity level up by opening it opening a door. <laughs> Worm meat? Oh, we can't let that go to waste. Speaking of going to waste, we should probably eat some of these uh, fish steaks I have in my backpack here, because some of them are rotting, which is not ideal, because it's actually pretty good food. Uh, the ones that have rotten, though, we're going to just kind of drop them in the water. Eat the worm meat! Eat it! Drop this rotten food on the floor. <clears throat> Grab a bottle. Because <clears throat> we're going to drink some water from our stills here. Yeah, these, these solar powered stills are very overpowered. Was pineapple. Because you basically pour you pour seawater in there and then you just kind of leave them alone for a while and then they make water for you. No fire, no nothing. It's very, very convenient to have so many of them now. All right, we'll start a beach fire and cook this worm meat by popular demand. Mmm, yummy. Surprisingly decent food for what it is. Okay, let's see, that is unpurified. This one is purified, so let's drink some more water. Okay, cool. And now the landscaping continues. Got these three other squares here of sand to get rid of. Oh, there's another strength level. That's, that's fine. Oh, it's another worm! <laughs> it's more delicious worm meat. Mmm. 
Is the fire still going? It is. All right, let's cook it up on the, the glowing embers of our previous fire. Mmm. <laughs> as, as they say in old country, bone apple teeth. <laughs> <clears throat> Drop some more sand in there. Just keep digging, just keep digging. Just keep throwing sand on the floor. Now what we can do to make these piles of sand less tedious is to uh, start crushing some of it up with our, uh, pester, our pestle and mortar over here. We can start just crafting it to refine sand, which we need to do anyway if we're going to use it for anything, because we have, don't have any use for sharp glass, because we have plenty of uh, sharp items to use for that purpose, so we're going to just start crunching it up. Let's see. Oh, we're making some, like... Some weirdly powerful piles of sand here. Let's see, this one is Sand of Worth, which has more credits. Alright, that's actually great. This one is Sand of Endurance. Well, whatever. <laughs> that, that, that. And yeah, this sand is, weighs a lot less. So we can go to, like, this pile of sand here and. We'll, keep, we'll separate this one off because it's actually worth a lot of credits to traders. So if we find some traders, we can trade it for a lot of stuff. Alright, well, let's keep crafting. OBS does not like this game on my on my video card settings. Like, I, every so often while this game is running while I'm recording, it's like, Encoder overloaded! This 8-bit game is too powerful! I'm just like, shut the fuck up, OBS. Sand of Featherweight. Well, that one's even lighter than normal. It's great. <clears throat> A refined sand of hurling, huh? Sit more, more, more endurance sand. It sounds like something you'd buy at, like, the fucking gas station. Whoa, endurance sand! Last all night! Or whatever. Horny gut weed. Let's see what we have here. Featherweight? Sure, whatever. Some of this weighs a lot less, a lot more than others. But featherweight? That doesn't matter. I'm basically going to go to all these that have like the little like dinghies right here like the little pluses or purple things and if I have any that are worth more credits I'll separate them out but otherwise I just don't know if I care like that one kind of is because it's got two modifiers on it Most of these just aren't really worth separating out from normal, from normal sand, so I won't. And all those piles of sand there that were like just there are now just like one clump right here. <clears throat> like the weight reduction is pretty severe. <laughs> 
Uh, now let's fix up our uh, our little pestle mortar, and we'll probably do the same thing with this stuff over here. Probably this pile first. these three left worth that's actually a significant amount of credits so it gets to stay the ones can go back on the ground and we'll put that over here hey did I've not seen a single merchant yet but I will be prepared when I do I guess all right oh well that thing just finished making some water Need some fish steak. Mmm. Just thinking about fish steaks, like, mmm, yummy. Makes me a little hungry. Not gonna lie. I gotta separate all, all this crap out again. So let's see if we got any that are worth dropping over here. Worth, yes. Hurling, no. Hurling, no. That's just blue. Worth, yes. Not a bad haul, honestly. Getting lots of getting lots of stuff that's actually worth a lot of money. <laughs> Wasn't really what I was trying to do, but I mean, if it works it works, I guess. Uh, let's see, we'll fix our pestle mortar again, and now let's just make some more. That's bone meal. I don't want to make that yet. We've been making so much sand that we are exhausted and are hurting ourselves. Give me one sec, I gotta close the blinds on my bedroom window. Because the sun is like shining right on my screen. <laughs> Much better. <clears throat> we are creatures of the dark. It's <laughs> something like that. Mostly just I don't want to be blinded when I'm trying to stare at my game screen here. Oh yeah, right. I, I literally just said, "Oh hey, I'm 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 exhausting myself to death." Purified water, more purified water. We'll just drink it. And use our bottle that we should still have on us. If not, then I can just go grab one from the, the another pile on the beach. <laughs> Worst thing is like, as as messy as this is, it's probably a very effective way of storing your stuff because like chests only have a certain weight limit. I think chests might reduce the weight limit of things. Like, let me get, take a look at some of the chests in here, because they're 
Like 2.1. Oh no, chests don't reduce the weight limit, I think. At least this wooden chest doesn't. Maybe some better chests do. Yeah, maybe some better chests do reduce the, the weight of things, but these wooden ones I currently have do not, so. Which makes them only good for storing stuff you're gonna, like, use that's light, kind of, like, this, like, stuff like this. Alright, back to the, the sand refining. Alright, let's see if we got any more goodies. Okay, no, nothing really useful in that pile. This pile is finally actually full though, so we have to move, we have to move to a slightly different position on the beach. <laughs> probably right, probably right here. All right, let's see. Hurling, no. Hurling, no. Hurling, no. A lot of hurling this morning. Aptitude, no. All right, well, with a lot of the beach cleaned up, we can uh, continue digging up the sand and make more piles of sand. <laughs> Alright. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, our, our shovel's finally showing signs of distress. Let's just fix it. Now it's ready to go again. For another, like, 111 uses. <laughs> Well, we finally cleared out the sand there. Beetle juice. The juiciest of beetles. Good morning, Hug Dispenser. Happy holidays. I'm not gonna specify one because fuck you. <laughs> but hope you're hopefully you're having a good one. Wow, toxic streamer. Fuck. <laughs> I don't have a terribly high um, opinion of this time of the year. Beetlejuice. No, don't bring him here. I mean, my friend, are, you're, you're like, I'm gonna bring him here, and he's gonna like turn. He's gonna like, I don't know, do something silly. We can't rest because the snake is there. That's not our sna tamed snake. Well, it's a snake, but it's not tamed, so it counts as a cr it counts as a creature. Are we far enough away from the snake now to take a nap on the ground? We just need a little bit of stamina, not too much. What, how, what, how or what are you doing on this fine day? It can be a fine day for other reasons. <laughs> like, for example, we just murdered this worm creature that jumped out of the sand at us. That's pretty cool.
Hmm. There, I, there is a chance I may have heard of a, a certain critically acclaimed MMORPG. Almost by osmosis. <laughs> like, cultural osmosis is like, oh, have you heard about this one game? It is a fantasy game. But it's not, and it's called, it's called the final one, but there's, there's more, there's not just one. It can't be the final one. It's actually the 14th one. If you, if you can believe it. <laughs> Correct, EverQuest. We're just digging sand forever, god damn. Correct EverQuest. You know, as much as as like vaunted as EverQuest's like legacy, I guess is. I've just never heard of anyone actually talk about playing it, like ever. Like, like I know it's been around for a billion years and it still technically is, but I've just I've never heard anyone like say, "Oh, hey, I was playing EverQuest the other day. I did blah blah blah." I just have never heard anyone talk about it. I don't, I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. You know, like... <laughs> oh, no. That's the worst. You're like, oh, I'm going to play this really cool game people are talking about. And they're just like, oh, wait, I can't. I'm a scrub. Oh, no. <laughs> the biggest sad of all time. There goes Christmas. Let's see. How much stamina does this, uh... Eight stamina? Does the cucumber give more... Cucumber gives more stamina back. My man. Mmm, cucumber. But yeah, I, I... Like, I am a... An embar I've played... Uh, I've played RuneScape for an embarrassingly long amount of... Part of my life. But not EverQuest. Stagger over to our pile of possibly useful, possibly valuable sand. Like that one. That one. Let's get out just go in a pile somewhere. Hurling. Featherweight. Endurance. Endurance. Now, featherweight could be sort of make a really like as light of a uh, as light of a glass bottle as possible, but eh. in the grand scheme of things, it's not really super worth your time most of the time to do that because glass is already pretty light as it is. Oh, that's beach sand. I was like, wait, why did not go with it? And the answer is because it's not the same thing. <clears throat> go figure. Repair this up. We'll pick up all this beach sand and we'll start crunching it up too. Although this is probably a mistake.
Or our poor characters is exhausted. <laughs> So we're gonna pick up all this uh, s this uh, stuff of worth here that I grabbed. Like al almost all of these should be at least worth something. Like these ones are worth like 80 credits a piece because they're like have two modifiers. But these ones, like this one, see, it's, it's got worth, and then because of its worth thing, it has an additional 130 credits, which is frankly massive considering how light this stuff is. I think we have a pile of that kind of stuff right here. There we go. Our, our sand adventure has gotten us a lot of valuable things. I'm just gonna, we're not even going to put it on the fire. We're just going to kind of rest while watch our uh, stamina kind of recover a bit. Well, now it's nighttime. We might as well just go to sleep. Eh, now nah, we can we can make use of the of the eve of the evening. Let's see. Let's make sure this water here is purified. It is. So we'll do just take a, a drink directly from that. Gather some more seawater. Put it in there, and it won't it won't desalinate right now because you know nighttime. There's no sun to desalinate with, but. We can at least use up our um, our stamina. God, so much fucking beach sand. Why? Why do? You, why are you like this? Gotta crush it all up. <laughs> Riveting gameplay. I'm just, I'm just sitting, I'm just sitting on a beach, smashing sand <laughs> into smaller sand. Oh, our um, pestle mortar here has seen, has seen better days. We're abusing the shit out of it. Okay, it's at zero durability. Let's repair it. <laughs> Let's just keep going. And we have just enough room to be able to still move around. All right, let's get all this normal, normal ass refined sand. Put that on the ground. And once again, we'll use this kind of spot over here to kind of sort out the uh, ones that are have worth on them because they are worth our time coincidentally okay that one's aptitude hurling here's another one of worth endurance and endurance so the rest of this is gonna kind of just go somewhere I don't want to put anything like here because that's where we're gonna be putting down the fence posts and, and the like That right here is good. There they go. <laughs> right in the hole. Oh my god, that's adorable. You're so talented, Orion. Oh, by the way, if y'all don't follow o Orion, the power of... The power of gay compels you. If you don't follow Orion on like Twitter to see their freaking artwork, you're missing. You're you're doing your life a disservice. Like absolute one hundred percent. Oh, drinking some of my coffee. Oh, thank you. I'm more stubborn than talented. I would say. Like I like if I get something in my head, I tend to be a little fucking stubborn. <laughs> Though I will, though I will admit, 
I, I like the design of my bean, which is entirely of my doing, so I am pretty happy with that and how things go with that. So I will, t I will take some credit. <laughs> Alright, it's dark. I don't want to deal with this. Let's just go to sleep. <laughs> Our little leaf bed. We can make a better bed eventually if we, when we get more feathers. Because I think we have a chick. Oh, that's right. I haven't showed off the zoo yet. Nope, oh, something else rotted. Probably a, a fish meat. Yeah, we got a cooked fish steaks here. Let's eat that before it expires. The reason I had so many fish sticks in my backpack here is because when we were just exploring around in our boat, um, yeah, when we were exploring around in our boat, um, last, uh, stream to find islands that had iron on them, we ran into some sharks and I killed them and took their steaks for food and that's how I survived while I was out, just, and out and about. <laughs> it's just shark steak souffle. Alright, so yeah, I got these two goats here. They're actually tamed by these leaves and stuff. And I can milk them for, for goat milk if I so choose. This snake here is just kind of here on... It's a, on... Uh, it's it's here. And then I have these two spiders that are like just... As you can see, there's just a lot of silk here. They just crap out spider silk. Ow, asshole. I'm just here to take your stuff. And since they aren't tamed, they will attack me when I go up, when I walk up to them to pick up this stuff, but they don't do very much damage, and sometimes they don't do any damage at all, so, you know, it's, I'd say it's worth, uh, Yeah, I'd say it's worth. Yeah, we are gonna just put some sand down here. Cause we can use all the sand to kind of sculpt our beach to be kind of how we want it to look. I feel like that's a nice, a nice look. Gives us more room to kind of move around. Actually, a, a much better idea for what we're gonna do next. We're gonna put, we're gonna put this. We're gonna drop all this here, and then we're gonna go to our options over here and drop on chop, mine, harvest, dig, and then make sure our shovel is nice and repaired. And we're just gonna spam the fuck out of five, and all that sand is just gonna land here or somewhere else on the ground, and I'm not gonna have to worry about picking it up. Oh, now it, it is filling my inventory because it doesn't have anywhere else to go because this the, the floor is full of sand. Okay. Okay, beach sand go on the floor, and then we're gonna well, we're gonna drop these uh, shales in the into the ocean because I don't care. <laughs> All right, so. We're gonna take our little pestle and mortar here, and we're gonna just crunch up the remainder of this beach sand here. We see a chicken spring. Oh, that's right, I do have a chicken. Now I've got a chicken over here that I have been feeding seeds. And it makes eggs, and those eggs hatch into a more chicken. And it gives feathers and all that fun shit. It's good, good use of our, good use of all our extra seeds, like from apples. Like when you eat apples, they just give you seeds. There's only so many apples you really fucking care to plant. Like I've got like a little grove of them down here, just for the sake of having some apples, I guess. I mean, apples aren't bad. They're, they're they give you thirst and hunger when you eat them, so they're pretty convenient for. Just wondering more chicken. <laughs> Matter of fact, this apple tree is kind of in an unfortunate place because I think I prefer to have another hitch there. I 
I don't have any intention of, of hurting these either of these chickens because I mean they give you the they give feathers and stuff. And frankly, I don't know if they're, it'd be really even worth be worth taming them. Well, I mean, it's worth taming them because like when they're tamed, I think they drop more stuff like all those feathers and stuff. But yeah, this apple tree's in a very poor location, so we're probably gonna we'll, we'll worry about the chicken later. That's not what our primarily primary goal is. Our primary goal is, in fact, to um, we'll get this crunched up. I just got distracted because I saw a chicken sprung forth. From the, an egg. <laughs> we also get some rot here we can drop off. You know, I, got, I got easily distracted as always. Okay, is this worth the shit? No, so we can just drop all this refined sand. Okay, and then we'll grab. Okay, we'll fix up our mortar. This, this mortar has taken a lot of abuse. Drop all our fence in. Okay, sweet. And now we will drop our mortar as well. We don't need that right now. Next phase of my little plan of what we're doing here is I'm going to get some dirt. We're going to cover up all this gravel here. So it's just going to start. See if we can dig up. No, nope. not 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 from there. Also need to uncheck that because we're, we're going to want to carry the dirt around. So we need to find somewhere that's not. Well, we need to find somewhere that has dirt. So that we can, you know, dig it up. Oh, that had one dirt. Oh, we got a worm. Mmm. You can... Oh, there's some clay. That's a nice find. What kind of kind of wish I knew that was there beforehand? Cause I I went on a bit of a wander for clay at one point. Yeah, whatever put this clay down somewhere over here. I think there's some clay right here. I'm doing my best not to step on this grass here because it's still growing and if you step on it, you'll like destroy it. And I've done that more times than I would like to admit and it's pissed me off every single time because I didn't realize what I was doing. I'm just like, fuck, not the grass, not again. <laughs> Up here I've got like, some specialty trees planted like ones that are like ones with higher color ratings have higher well they can have the chance to give you better seeds so that you can get better resources from them like this apple tree should give us some uh, green apples which can have because based on your skills can have a chance to either give normal green or blue I guess in that case you can use it to kind of like tear up your food in a way because like Oh, well, I don't really have a good example of the food right now. Actually, I have a pretty good example here with this uh, suture of endurance that we have, I guess. Didn't notice we even had that. Like, compared to a normal one, let's see, it's 6, zero, 0 to 1, and 6, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. So, higher tier ones have a chance to give an additional roll on healing. So, even in that case, higher tier stuff that you make is just better. And as you can see, I've got this remarkable cucumber I'm trying to spread around here with limited success. Like, like we're having better success, like having this cucumber grow and then take its cucumbers, turn them into seeds. Like this, this uh, fertile soil spreads plants around when they're when they are planted there and they fully grow. They will spread to other tiles once. And you can use that to either just propagate more plants so you can have just more plants, which is never a bad thing. You know, plants are great and all. Anyway, we got some dirt. Let's, uh... Oh, there's another chicken up there. All right. Start setting down some dirt here. Uh, 
and we'll just find some more. Uh, probably out here somewhere. Like, let's try right here. Oh yeah, that's a good spot for dirt. Now if we wanted to be really try hard, we could throw some of this dirt in this bag here and make it way less and then we could like go and get more. But it's not that serious. Like it's fine that we're not doing all this dirt all at once. Although I'd say it probably came pretty close. Yeah, it did come pretty close. That's okay, we'll just go get a little bit more. Oh, we got a slime down here. Thank you. Well, we can, we can, with that slime, we can uh, make some glue. And we can fix up this uh, pestle mortar that we uh, abused the shit out of. So let's grab some seawater to do that with, and we'll light this fire. That's also why I have this fire, this fire pit on the beach here, so I can make glue. A lot more safely than starting a, a random beach fire, which I have done very much so in the past. Okay, so I made some slime glue, and let's see. Let's fix this. It's sitting at 16 durability, and then let's reinforce it. And now it has 124. Fix that, and basically good as new. All right, cool. Good talk. <laughs> Oh, we have some more meat we can cook and just shove in our mouths. Ooh, our pineapple down here also grew. I just kind of, I found a pineapple on my journeys. I was like, you know, let's just grow pineapples. Who cares? <laughs> and yep, pineapples are growing. No real reason to. I've got other foods that are probably more convenient. Because only one pineapple grows at a time, so they're kind of slow. But I think to make up for that, they have like higher stats recovered than otherwise. Okay, drink in front. Another liquid and a pour. All right. Well, looks like my uh, coffee's gone. <clears throat> that didn't take long. Okay, spiders are just pooping out more silk. Good for them. Alright. Yeah, we're just kinda we're just kinda growing pineapples. I guess we can just eat this one because we've got four now instead of just one. That, that one pineapple gave 11 stamina, 7 hunger, and 4 thirst. Yeah, like, those are pretty good. But they grow, but it takes a while to kind of get them going because you get one pineapple per. When with these cucumbers I've got growing, you get two each harvest. Probably for similar stats overall, but... Yeah, cucumbers are just great. set this stuff down. You know what, I'll set this down, set this dirt down too. Who, who, who cares? Well, let's take these, uh, exceptional, these, uh, worth ones inside. Okay. I'll pick those up. Set that down, and then we'll just drop all these again. Oh wait, eating that pineapple got me the seeds. Huh, I didn't think that happened with pineapples. All right, well that makes them a little more useful for growing, I guess. We'll just plant it in the, plant it in the sand and leave it alone for a while. Don't really have any strong attachment to it, but hey, more food's more food. Can't really complain about that. Uh, I guess for now we'll just Hold on, these worms aren't really hurting nothing per se. 
drop these poles. Don't even know why I have random poles with me. Okay, so. Next thing is going to be, um... Nope, not that. Wrong button. Not five. And you press six. It's because, like, we have the edges, like, here. I'm going to have grass on the edges cause, just because I kind of like how it looks. Come on. Dig the damn hole. It's very much just aesthetics at this point. I'm not starving to death, so I can afford to just kind of deal with some... I can, I can afford aesthetics. Alright, we got some grass seeds here. We need to grab more because... Yeah. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I think we have 7, so we need to get... We need to borrow some grass seeds from somewhere. Well, there's one. There's two, all right. Cause I would like most of these to be on like the same growth cycle so that once they're done, I can just like kinda go up, go at it and just start putting in all the fence posts. Admittedly, we don't need too many more fence posts cause we're extending this out, but We're definitely gonna need some more. I don't. I, I'd have to count how many we exactly need. Which counting sucks. I'm gay. I don't like that. You know. <laughs> so we're gonna need at least. Uh, we're gonna need at least two. <laughs> mood <laughs> right let's see so we're gonna need two there two there um yeah, like two there two there one there one there so I think two two we need like six more fence posts which honestly isn't that bad I already got, I already have, Max, that's a TG animation, I'm not ashamed to pull out the calc. Nah, fuck that, yeah, like, absolutely. Currently, I have a little fence here, or like a little gate, rather. We'll probably end up moving that, but for now, let's, uh, we need, like, five more, uh, five more fences. Which, if we search by, if we filter down the fence, we can see that takes, each of them takes two logs and a pole, so we need to go, um, we need to go wood choppering. Hello, slime. You're looking. Sub. You, you're looking. You're looking. Glue. Glue. You look like glue. <laughs> I couldn't bring myself to say it. I couldn't. I try. <laughs> I almost did, but I was like, no, I, I, I can't. <laughs> Let's get some more seawater. Make some more glue. And now I gotta figure out what I'm gonna f finance. Fuck. <laughs> upgrade. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with my brain right now? Finance? Oh, we're gonna fix our pickaxe. Um, let's repair, just repair our stuff, I guess. Well, our shovel did take a bit of a hit because we did all that digging, so probably that, actually. Yep, that was a good choice. It got, a, got us a lot of durability back on our stone shovel. Now, at some point, we will actually be able to make uh, metal tools because, like, all this stuff right here is iron. I did, in fact, find iron ore 
on my travels last stream. We got our little boat here to thank for that. Boat actually has more stuff in it, I think. Let's, uh... Let's grab out the stuff that's not staying in here. Well, I think there's a bot. Get it. Get it. Spaghetti. it. I can get it. Got it, got him. All right, so. Oh, we also got this tin chest here, which I was kind of excited to bring back with Vancy. I need an anvil to repair that. Okay, that's fine. All right, well, the granite kiln and the, the solar still stay inside of the boat because that's kind of like our like base camp kind of setup. There's a kiln to repair our glass items and the stills to make us water while we explore. And honestly, I might be, I might, I might make more stills just to put inside the boat too, just because. Having more stills and just leaving them at places is probably a more ideal because they're not very hard to make. A tin wheel. Huh. A tin refinement tools. Hmm. A tin needle. Okay. A tin lockpick. A tin bullet. A tin axle. A tin arrowhead. Yeah, for now we'll just kind of put this chest here. Like we'll set it down. Okay, it, does, it doesn't look like this chest actually does any weight reduction either. It doesn't really. It does, it does have more weight capacity though, which is kind of cool, I guess. Let's kind of store some of this coal away in this tin, and we'll put a chest in a chest. That's fun. That's what the cool kids do, right? <laughs> it's like a dream within a dream, you know? Just, like, we just have all, all this ma just massive amount of stone from digging out this room that I have no way to use, no real good way to use other than, like, probably make some cobblestone floor, maybe, but. I guess that's, that is something we could do with all this stone. Not really, not not against it. We could also upgrade our walls to these walls to to granite as well instead of being wood. That would also give us wood back that we could use for the fences. <laughs> so it's probably what I end up doing at some point for the. Plus, eventually, then we could just replace these walls here with stone. Hmm. Let's see. Granite flooring. 
Let's make one to kind of put it down. Oh, yeah. I'm down with it. Make a nice little house. Well, I guess that's my answer. What I'm gonna do with all this stone is just gonna make floor out of it. What does that one look like? That. Hmm. Why is it sticking out like that when the other? Probably because these walls are just taller or whatever. Yeah, it's fine. I don't. I don't. I don't really understand. Yeah. Whatever. Well, I guess we just stayed up dr throughout the night. Oh yeah, that's right. I think we woke up and it was dark. I was like, you know, let's just use let's just use the time. I guess. I don't even know. I've lost control of my life. <laughs> uh, pa pa animal pelts. Let's uh, add more to that because I don't know what to really do with them right now. <laughs> and do we have more scales anywhere? That's clay. Clay flakes, which we need to use. We need clay flakes for um. I think we. I think we use clay flakes for uh, making um, molds for uh, smelting metal into like ingots and stuff. Purified water. Let's drink in front. There we go. Okay, so our, our, all our little seedlings here are happy and growing. And what we could do is we could water the grass to have it, I think, grow a little faster. Which, honestly, I might just do that. Because it's not like we're hurting for water, really. Yeah, let's water, let's water the grass. <laughs> Use the water to help grass grow. Cause the sooner that can, the sooner that grows, the sooner we can uh, put the fences down over top of it. So yeah, we're gonna. Bottle seen better days. Purified, I'm purified. We're gonna have to fix it up. Welcome back. Hey, you're you you weren't you weren't present. I can't really blame you for that. It was just a, uh, what you call it, just like one of those, uh, I'll make things for you bots. I'm just like, yeah, no. <laughs> it, even if I wasn't a stubborn asshole that just makes my own shit, no. Ben hammered! <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we need to fix our, uh, Our glass bottle here that we've been using. There we go. Good as new, if not a little fucking, a little fucked up. All right, now let's uh, sleep. We can just, the, the 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 lit granite kiln will give us enough light to where we can sleep nicely. We can just sleep on the ground. Doesn't really matter all that much because the little plant bedroll is not really 
much better than not just sleeping on the ground. You know, it, it's fine. We'll just let the grass grow. I was, I, was, I, was, I was scooping grass up and then, like, I was, I was trying to water the grass. But I don't think it's really going to matter that much. Uh-oh, earthworms. I guess we can go fish with them. Worms. Let's see, seven is our fishing rod, so... We caught a, we actually caught a fish. Well, a massive red snapper ready to be cooked or dined or dined on raw in a pinch. Ah, we can dismantle into raw chopped fish. Okay. And a, a, a roughly chopped assortment of fish meat and viscera to be used as bait or cooked for consumption in several manners. Ah, we can turn this fish into bait, basically. All right. That's cool. Let's, uh, I guess let's try to fish some more. Oh hey, a shark! Hey, another shark! Y'all wanna fit? You want? You wanna play too? Yeah, I didn't think so, asshole. Oh, don't, I don't want to go in the water. Oh, I just killed a shark. Mmm. Ready to ingest. <laughs> Chop up that fish for some more, uh, from some more bait. We can turn the shark, we can turn the shark meat into bait too. All right. We should, we should turn the fin into shark bait. I think this is our pile of bones here. We need to we do need to grab one because we can use this uh, awful here we got from the shark with the bones to make glue. We just gotta get more seawater first. Okay, let's go over to crafting and we'll make some animal glue. Animal glue is not quite as good as slime glue, but it's still plenty good at uh, reinforcing some stuff. Like, honestly, I'm probably going to reinforce this fishing rod since we're just doing a bunch of fishing with it. Makes sense to me. Eh, yeah, it's not as, as good, but still plenty good. Alright, more fishing. Don't taunt me. The fish is just taunting me. Fuck you. <laughs> just fish is just swimming around me in the water like, you can't catch me. And I was like, bet. <laughs> I can fish with, the, with my axe. Dude, we could be just eating all this fish, but we still can eat this raw fish, I guess. But I, I don't really ever do fishing anyway, so I figured it might be fun. Oh, well, there's a snapper. Oh, there's a shark. Yep, 
Yeah, you better run. <laughs> just bullying. I'm just bullying the sharks at this point because my armor, my armor is so good that they can't really hurt me too bad. And like sometimes if you hurt animals enough, they'll just like run away, and that shark's just like. I was. <laughs> if I had more, if I had more stamina left, I would go chase that shark and kill it. <laughs> It's a little rude of me, but, you know, whatever. I don't know, I'm just doing something a little different than what I normally do. Since I gotta wait for the grass to grow anyway. So these snapper cause snappers can become uh, two bait apiece. Gotcha. <laughs> Our dumbass has just been fighting sharks and fish all morning. <laughs> we're, we're a thirsty little bugger. We're also a little peckish, so we can uh, cook up those shark steaks and and eat them. Who needs the garden when you can just bully fish? <laughs> and what, uh, shark gave us some more glue, which can use on our fishing rod again. And then we can just go back to, to doing more fish. Yeah. And I'm using these shark teeth to like cut everything up because they're sharp enough to do that. Like these shark teeth are as uh, are as sharp as my stone knife are, so they can just do the same thing. Come here, fucker! <laughs> God damn it! The shark ran away. What a what an asshole. You gonna run too? Didn't think so. <laughs> I I I've not I was not expecting to bully this many sharks. <laughs> I was just trying to fish. The cool thing is we can turn all this uh, seaweed into a string, so that's also just kind of useful. And it's a pretty decent string too, it looks like. Oh look, we can we can make more glue. How fa how wonderful. Which we can use on our fishing pole again. I barely even got the chance to use the damn thing before we got more glue for it. Thanks to all these sharks. Now if we if we if we don't feel like doing any more fishing, we can uh turn all this uh fish meat. Which uh mm, we're, we're we're already full, so I can't really We'll see how much it how much it restores hunger wise to see if we what we're gonna do with it because we can make all this fish stuff into pemmican which no, makes it makes it no longer have a shelf life which is useful for traveling. But I want to see how much it restores otherwise. Like we'll eat this one that's kind of damaged. Wait a sec, six hunger for cooked chopped fish. Damn, that's actually really good. Hmm.
Hey there, bud. Thank you so much for subbing for so long. Hope you're having a good morning. Hydrate! There we go. I was waiting for it. <laughs> Got some actual, I have some actual water this time. Hope you're having a great day, man. Merry Christmas. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna cook all this fish meat here. And then we're gonna turn it all into pemmican. Maybe. What's the shelf life on this stuff? Shelf life on the fish steaks is better, so we're gonna hold on to the fish steaks. Just so we have some food for later. We'll we'll do that after we make pemmican out of the little fish bits here. Oh, the fire went out. Fuck. <laughs> pemmican of potency. I think that oh wow that makes this pemmican very strong. Nice. Well, let's make some more pemmican, I guess. Drink some agua. Mmm, delicious desalinated water. Uh, we'll save this three uh, food, these three fish stuff to just eat manually because like pemmican's not super efficient for. Like hunger wise, but it's very it has no shelf life, so you can basically reserve it for when you would need food. And right now I do not need food because I've been bullying fish all morning. <laughs> Waiting for this grass to grow. It's like watching paint dry, watching the grass grow. I'm literally doing that because I I need it to grow so I can finish my garden. <laughs> Let's drop these um, shark fins here. Drop this among all the other garbage. Okay. I'm sure I've got a spot for animal claws somewhere on the beach. Just don't know which icon that would be. Oh, probably this one. There we go. Yep. What's that? That is gravel. All right. Oh, well, I don't want the gravel to exist, so we're gonna just drop it in the ocean, like any like any other responsible island dweller would do. Just drop it in the ocean. Who cares? It's gone forever. <laughs> That's like the simplest way to like dispose of basically anything in this game is just throw it in the ocean. <laughs> it'll, it'll pan out. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, let's see. Is this one with the... Uh... No, that's our seeds. This is kind of like our... Uh... Food slash medical plant storage. Because these uh, beggar ticks do not... Um... Do not spoil. They can be eaten for food if you really need it, but they're mostly used for med medicine. Like this uh, medicine water stuff I have that cures poison. Which I usually just keep this on me in case I do get poisoned somewhere, but since I do a lot of home life stuff right now, it's not like it doesn't really happen that way much. That said, let's just make a bunch of floor.
Okay, we'll rest up a bit, get some stamina back. What's on the floor here? Bone needles, okay. Okay, we got some flooring there now. We still have like a million rocks to use. Ah, that's why. Because it doesn't detect there's another floor to connect to, so it, it... Ah, okay. Well, that's going to make this a lot nicer looking after the fact, then, in that case. Alright, let's move this stuff elsewhere. It's also got to clean up all these, like, so many rocks. Look at all these rocks. <laughs> It gives them a use at least now. Okay, there's that stuff then. How much is that even worth? 100 of our credits? Okay, that's fine. I suppose. Spider silk of worth is like very light and worth like 175 credits. Scales of worth. Tannin of worth, same deal, like, just ma random stuff I've just been making that's like, oh, that's 70. Okay, those aren't really worth holding on to, because, well, they are, but not for that purpose, I guess. They are very good things, though, so I'll put them in the corner over here. <clears throat> Alright, more flooring. Set it down. There we go. That's starting to look pretty sweet. Again, we gotta kinda wait for this grass to grow anyway, so we might as well just do stuff like this. Wait, is this not cobblestone floor? No, it's granite flooring. Okay. Yeah, these uh, these stone, these little stones can be used to uh, make cobblestone flooring. How does that look? Oh, that looked really good outside, actually. See, so indoors is gonna be used, done making a. Uh, Use it was clay flooring, nah. Granite flooring. Okay, so the sharp stones can't be used for that, so unless I need to use sharp stones for tools, we're probably gonna turn them into cobblestones for this purpose. Fine by me. characters all tuckered out. Still just waiting on the grass. Waiting on the grass to grow. All right. Well, let's start just putting all this not granite flooring stuff in a pile. Oh yeah, we had to pick this stuff up that we literally just put down.
Now we can put it back down. I was about to be really annoyed at myself because I, I I was under the impression I didn't have any cotton seeds. So that's one of the other things I was looking for while we were out and about, which I, as you can see I did find cotton seeds, so we have cotton that we can grow to eventually make our own fabric without having to like string a bunch of string together for it. Which I mean it's not like it's much worse doing it that way, but turning cotton directly into fabric is just kind of more convenient I guess. Mm, we'll leave the plants alone for now, cause once um once our garden expands, we're gonna be moving a lot of this stuff around to kind of faci better facilitate um, spreading and all that kind of stuff. We also just have like a big line of plants to just harvest from without worrying about any of that either. So. But as it currently stands, we've got some stuff growing at least. Which, yeah, it's good. Chicken over here making a bunch of feathers, which. Hmm. Okay, hammock, uh. And we make like a feather bed roll. Which is a lot better, and I think we could probably get enough stuff to do it. Okay, I wasn't sure if there was like a better bed than the feather bed roll. I'm sure there is, but I've just not found it yet or discovered the recipe for it. Anywho. Stem is a little stem is low. You know, maybe we should make that since we're gonna be resting a lot building all these floors. So we need some fabric, which I guess I think does this count as fabric? Let's see. Equip craft. Hmm. Okay, now in groupings it would say fabric in that case. Well, let's dismantle it and see what... I think you used to be able to turn uh, animal hides into bandages, but I think they changed hides to no longer be fabric because that probably made it too easy to get fabric because you could just go kill a bunch of giant rats. Which, if you're diff if you're um, if you're uh, your difficulty up here is not very easy, I can imagine. Like I haven't seen giant rats or spiders in a while that just like show up to to fight me. It's because I'm, my benign is so high from those um, orbs of influence I found. Because the monsters just kept dropping them, so I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll just keep using them, and yep. <laughs> All right, so in that case, I'm gonna definitely need to um, make my own fabric, which is fine. It's not like it's hard to do. Like we, we can make a woven fabric out of a cordage, like this pile of stuff here that I've been collecting, we can g grab a needle and make fabric that way. Fabrics. 
So yeah, let's uh make some woven fabric. I don't know why that one was damaged being made, but eh, whatever. Okay, and then we'll drop you. Don't need you anymore. And then we need eight feathers. I think we need a string as well. So let's see if we got any good strings. Let's find out. Let's find the best. Definitely. Almost certainly not that one. 18, 16. Okay, so we got 18, 26, 26, 17, 19, and 19. All right, so we have the best string we can find. Oop, didn't mean to step on that, but thankfully it's not harmed. Let's grab some of these. Let's pick up all this stuff. I think if these eggs decay, they hatch. So we're probably gonna wanna like put these eggs somewhere. See that's, looks like there's uh, 10 seeds on the ground there. Put them there because I think eventually we are gonna just get another chicken. I know I know it's around here. I see the feathers everywhere. <laughs> I can see the feathers, so you know uh, it's it's cool. Yeah, I guess for now we'll just leave these chicken eggs kind of just like I don't know over here. I don't really have any use for them right now. I think you could probably feed them to the snake to tame it, but eh, whatever. I'm not that bothered for a snake. All right, and okay, we need a needle and then we can make a better bed. All right, we made a nice uh, bedroom made of soft feathers and wrapped in fabric. Nice. I don't know the impact of that compared to just like sleeping on the, the on this one. We now I got a nice little uh, feathery bedroll. Uh, I guess in that case, this this plant one can be our travel bed now. Let's just kind of put it in there, I guess. And I don't know what to do with the rest of the feathers now. That's kind of the only reason I really got this chicken is feathers, and well, we've got plenty of those. I think you brought you probably use feathers for arrows, but again, I don't know if that's necessary like really that worth my time, you know. grass you can do it I believe in you it's growing so damn slowly yeah, further down here we have this POI that we found earlier in the game that just has like a lot of had like a lot of plants near it. We currently use that just to propagate a massive amount of cucumbers and just other shit, because might as well, it's here. No, I'm about to borrow some of this fertile soil and go uh Use 
it for making more grass. Eventually. Like up, well, up, up over here, we'll have like this spot here. Set down that. Let's get a grass. All right. Plant that. All right. So now that grass is planted there, and when it finishes growing. It should spread to the tiles around it and get us and help us start multiplying grass seeds for the aesthetic purpose of having more grass. <laughs> Alright. Water. Mmm. Tasty tasty. I might as well just fill up my thirst. Cause I can just literally get get it right back when, in the morning without ha without any like basically any effort either so it's just really really easy beetle juice no not again not the third time here he comes <laughs> he's 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 going to come and he's going to I don't know do something I haven't seen Beetle just in a long time, so I can't even remember what he really does. <laughs> All right, well let's let's do the first sleep in our new little bed here. I'm gonna make like a little uh, feather bed roll. When you least expect it. Wee! <laughs> you little rap scallion, you. Oh, we slept for nine hours, okay. Well, that's not so bad. Okay, that grass up there actually finished, so we can start. Uh, we, we actually need to start working on um, getting the. Getting the action. Well, this is gonna have to. This tree is gonna have to go at some point anyway. So we're gonna. Fuck you! Fuck you! This little apple tree is gonna have to go. Unfortunately, I didn't really put it. I didn't envision using that space for anything. But now it's gonna be the chicken zone. And eventually we'll put another little pin here, a little hitch there at least, so we can go um, have another chicken. bag all right uh, make a fence put that there I know we have another fence down here too that's a gate but we hit See a chicken. I see you over there, chicken. You foul beast. <laughs> ah, looks like the cotton has indeed spread. Okay, we got like one cotton ball. Bowl? Is it a B O L bowl? What? A bowl of. That seems like a fucking typo. Hold on. I gotta look that up. That seems like a. Like, 
just a typo. <laughs> a fucking typo. Maybe that's like the... Huh. Alright, I guess that is... Okay, so the bowl is the actual bit on the plant. As opposed to the thing that you, like, I don't know, do makeup with or something. Interesting. Alright. Look at me being a rube and not knowing. <laughs> On that note of me being a, a rube, I'm going to mute and use the bathroom. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. When you gotta go, you gotta go. Okay. So these fence posts will be able to move up. We can actually go ahead and do that. We can just kind of do that to keep stuff out because they won't be, they can't get in this way. We're gonna wait until these are all. Well, this one can be harvested now, cause well, it's already grown. We're currently not relying on these for food anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, this one's not gonna spread anymore; it already has, so.
Alright, so let's look at our stock of cucumber here. None of these are blue, so this one's gotta kinda like stick around until the others, uh... Honestly, this whole spreading thing isn't really super useful for... Propagating too many more, um... Cause I think the fertile soil's quality also depends on how, what spreads and where, cause... Yeah, this fertile soil is not very good. Like, it's, it's white quality, which is fine. It's good for just spreading crops, but... Yeah, we've got, like, these these two blue ones here that we're going to have to hold out, hope for, getting us actual cucumbers that are worth a shit. Anyway, all, all that stuff's doing what it's doing. We need to get... Excuse you? Oh, you don't tame off pine needles, do you? So I was like, wait, why is this goat attacking me? And the answer is, uh, because pine needles are not food. Or spruce needles. Okay, you have... Spruce needles are worth even less than I thought they were. So we need the other leaves. Okay, well, you can have these leaves. I don't even know why I, uh, the goats here are kind of like a contingency if I somehow don't have water, which is not a problem anymore, so that, they're not really any point to having them, but they're kind of cute. Hydrate. Have some actual water. Like, actual bottled water. Because on Thursday, whenever I was leaving work through the snow stuff or, like, just the bad weather, I grabbed an extra bottle or two of water from work because we buy bottled water like we kind of put all our money together and buy bottled water and you know that kind of deal and I just grabbed an extra one or two of them so I could make sure I had water in case I somehow got stranded somewhere so now I just have some extra water that I'll be drinking throughout like the, the day and the weekend and whatever We're gonna take all this charcoal inside and we're gonna have it in this chest here because it's kind of like our medicine chest anyway. Oh, this one's called food storage. I could probably just rename that. Because it's not, it's not exactly food in here anymore. Okay, and this one is just where all our seeds go, which right now that means, uh, apple seeds go! <laughs> oh, and I guess the next time we make some, uh, our pineapples are just kind of propagating now. Well, next time we, uh, there's a rabbit over there. What are you doing, rabbit? The next time we uh, start a fire over here to um, do something, like, next time we start a fire over there in order to, um, word, words, next time we start a fire there for making glue of some kind, those pine needles will just burn up and go away, because they don't, they don't, you can't use them for animal feed. The only thing you can kind of realistically do with them is, um, use them for compost which is fine but that just makes them less useful than normal leaves from like, these oak trees or maple trees or whatever yeah they are in fact maple I'm 
Well, since these cucumbers we have aren't very good, we can just eat them. Like, they'll, they'll provide plenty of sustenance, but they're not quite as good as I was hoping, because, yeah. But as you can see, these cucumbers are pretty powerful, because, like, one cucumber base heals three hunger and, like, three thirst. And when they get higher quality, they can possibly just restore more. So, like, you can just sustain yourself, like, entirely off of cucumbers if you have enough of them growing. Which means you don't even need any of this water shit either. And cucumbers have, have a good shelf life too, so you can just kind of carry them around. Anyhow, let's find some more places to plant grass, because this grass is doing fine, but we have some extra grass seeds, so let's just kind of plant some more grass. Kind of like an, an awkward place to plant the grass here. And we can go to this tree here that's... Well, not that one. Oops. This one. This one's kind of dead anyway. We'll just dig it up. Plant some grass there. And make another fence for our... Oh, we got a strength level up from woodworking. Okay. Works for me. This means more carry capacity, more more combat power, and, you know, the like. <clears throat> We're actually gonna keep these uh, fences here because these upper areas we can use to like spread plants on each side. Like where that, where like where this fence currently is, we can use that to kind of spread the plants around that way. Okay. kind of awkward because some of these plants aren't really like fully like grown or whatever All right. well let's that's out of the way get some beggar tick seeds and some beggar ticks and then some plant roots and these are flowering so leave them alone we actually just plant the beggar ticks down here, I guess. And then when those are done growing, we'll move them over as well. Oh, there's some more medical stuff for our pile. Still gonna wait for this grass to finish growing before I can finish off the, uh... The fencing and stuff. I, I, I need to make two more fences. Make that one more fence. And we'll just kind of stick them here for now. I just need two more logs from somewhere. I don't want to use those because those are higher quality in case I want to make better tools of some kind. Ah, oh, there's a dead tree over there. We probably should go cut that because it'll incur less wrath from nature. Actually, this is a be even better tree to cut because it kind of blocks off an area. There we go. Why is this apple tree here? Dead. All right, well, I guess let's eat this apple. We'll just kind of plant this apple tree here. Cool, whatever, enjoy. Carrying too much weight. Ah, oh, fuck. Drop these we just have like a big pile of branches on the ground here. And then let's go grab ourselves these two logs I have left on the ground here. And now we can use those to make the last fence posts for our garden. 
We don't have we don't have, to have just one garden, but having at least one decently sized garden to start with to kind of just spread a bunch of plants around is gonna make things simpler for us. We don't necessarily need the fence, the gates on either sides like this. We'll probably take those two ones, two gates out. Actually, now I'm thinking about it. No, no, not really a point having that many. And that will let us uh, more easily, that'll let us have more plants too. We can go ahead and just uh, dig this up and set our fertile soil down. Yeah, the music's real good. I, that's why, I specifically with this game, like a lot of games like this in Minecraft, I would normally like just play like my own like Spotify playlist over, but like not this game. This game's music is fucking great. It's like chip tune fucking paradise. <clears throat> So yeah, we're gonna just have our fences. So we need two more fences now. And we got these two gates to set up like another thing. Chicken, you're testing my patience. Get away from my pineapples. Bad chicken. A lot of feathers from just killing that one chicken though. And we also got a chicken breast. Can we dismantle you into like chicken pieces? Oh, we can't dismantle you at all. Okay, well. I guess we'll just cook this chicken. Don't want it to go to waste since, well. I didn't really want to kill it, but it was kind of bothering my plants over there. So I was like, mm, guess it's time to go. Time to, time to go to the great bone orchard in the sky. So we'll just cook it. Let's we'll cook an entire chicken. And that will... It'll last a decent bit, but... It'll last a bit longer if we put it in our bag. Just open your backpack and dump, dump a cooked chicken in there. Mmm. Delicious. Well, it's it's ten it's ten o'clock, and I'm planning to go into twelve for this. So maybe I should actually try to work on some of the metal working that the, the stream title suggests of you know heavy metal. Maybe I should try doing that. You know, <laughs> I'm just running around doing everything but that. Funny, funnily enough, it's just like yeah. There's, a, there's just a lot to do, especially with me expanding this garden out like this. There's just a lot to just do. And I will, we'll actually just keep this, uh, this uh, cotton seed on me because Whenever the time comes for us to plant, I will be planting that as soon as possible because uh, we can just get more uh, cotton going. Because once I can get more cotton bowls, we can make just fabric out of it. Which 
it takes three cotton, so we're gonna need a bunch of cotton plants going to make it kind of worth our time. Kind of makes me think maybe like I could like clear out this mountain area here and just make a big cotton just a, just a cotton farm. So I have something I can use the stones for now, and we're probably not gonna have enough stones to kind of do, do everything. That aside, let's uh. We'll just could, let's put these apples in our bag here, I guess. Just trying to clear up my inventory because we're going to need to start hauling in this iron ore over here. Oh, actually, this iron ore doesn't really weigh that much. I was expecting it to weigh a little more. Wrought iron is needs a hammer. Hmm. Perhaps there's better iron that I can make. So you have to make raw iron first, and then you can uh, make better iron out of that. So yeah, we need a... Uh, a lit furnace, so let's uh, do that. And our blacksmithing skill is gonna slowly but surely level up. Which I feel like making as much of this into raw iron first is probably a better idea, because then we'll have higher skill when we actually make things. Since we're not sorely in need of, uh, making having any of this stuff just yet i mean that helmet has got like two more to like three more defense than our current helmet which is not nothing those gauntlets are very good too three defense for gauntlets my current gloves are fur mittens which aren't bad and they're very good against cold but nah a wrought iron baking tray, hell yeah. Yeah, we're just gonna keep making wrought iron. Get our skill up with actually doing anything with iron. And then we'll go get the, we'll go get the next batch of iron off the ground and actually do stuff with that too. This pile has like 55 iron in it though, so are we gonna be able to carry that? Um, yes. We're just gonna have to move as much of it into my bag as it will allow. There we go. And then we could just craft it all into to wrought iron and toss it on the floor like the, with the rest of it. Alright, so. More wrought iron. Now, it is a much better shield than our shield, but... Eh. I think this is using up some of our hammer durability, which is fine. We've got pretty good hammers.
And we can actually make a, a, a wrought iron hammer at some point. We are going to need to make an anvil, though, at some point first. Probably out of stone and uh, wood, and then we can probably make a wrought iron anvil and so on and so forth. We can actually just cook our worm meat, too, off the same uh, fire. Mmm. Efficient. <laughs> Your granite hammer is in need of repair. Yep, that's trying to watch out for that because these hammers are pretty good durability. I've had them for a while, so I don't want to uh, have them break. So we can craft eight more of these before my hammer breaks. One, two, three, four, five. And now let's fix it. Okay, let's make some more. We're just getting a lot of blacksmithing experience from just making the wrought iron itself. Because ideally, what you want to do with the skill is make just a bunch of raw res of make a lot of base resources with it, so that you can make those base resources better without wasting stuff. But we're starting to we're starting to hurt ourselves. We're so sleepy. All right, well, that's all the raw iron made. Let's uh, drop all of it. Well, we can't fit all of it on the ground there. And that space is full too, so we might have to actually employ that tin chest here. Yeah, we have to have an anvil. At some point, we're gonna have like a Actually, we'll, we'll uh, have. Nah, we're gonna have to like. We'll probably end up moving this chest out of the way, or something, because you're gonna want to have to. You're gonna want to have an anvil next to your furnace, so you can do everything you need to do with it. For now, we're gonna have the, we're gonna put this here since we don't even we don't even have you know the anvil yet anyway. Oh wow, that right that that chest actually fit all that wrought iron in there, better than the ground did. Interesting. Good to know. Now we can't, I think we can at some point make a wrought iron, yep, a wrought iron chest. Which has um, more capacity than the tin chest does, so we can upgrade our chests too. But we're also going to just, need, we also need an anvil. So before we can do anything else, we need to have an anvil. This first one is made out of granite and logs, or log rather. Let's just drop all this back on the ground. So let's drop all sharp granite, and then drop the little stones, and let's go find a log somewhere. Pretty sure we got one like laying around. Yeah, there's some over here. And we can use that to make our anvil, and we can put that down as well. I might actually, no, well, at some point we're gonna have an, an anvil that's not just freaking a log and some stones, so at that point we'll focus on, uh, we'll focus on making a better anvil when we get, when we're gonna make one that's not just garbage. Because <laughs> that's what, that's kind of what this first anvil is, just kind of garbage to get us by. Yeah, let's turn on drop on chop mine and then we'll like just get these walls cleared out. 
It also allows us to get to this coal, which is nice. Let's get some more, let's get a little bit of rest in our uh, little bed here. Well, it's it's a little, it's dark, but it doesn't really matter. We're inside, we're safe, so we can just kind of do what we need to do and then go to bed again. <laughs> okay, that wasn't wasn't nearly as much uh wasn't nearly as much uh coal as I was thinking was going to be there. Alright, well now we have an anvil and a uh, let's see, does one of these things have talc in it? Talcum powder. He's going there too. Yeah, to make a to make a just actual iron and stuff, it looks like we're gonna have to uh, use talcum powder, carbon powder, limestone powder, <laughs> and wrought iron, which is gonna be uh, it's a, that's a lot of, of stuff, admittedly, for one thing. Yeah, doing 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 blacksmithing is a very labor intensive sort of deal. any qualms about using either of those. Okay. That a... I wonder if uh, that recipe for iron changed. Talcum powder, carbon powder, limestone powder, raw iron. Ah, we need the sand cast flask too, which, yeah. We can get that. That's part of why I have the, uh, the clay flakes on the beach over here somewhere. Uh, let's drink some water because our little character's... Character's a little, a little thirsty. I am too, so I'm gonna drink some more water. Ah, well, that's one of the bottles down. We'll just fill up our water meter. Because the cost of the cost to make more water is basically free, so we might as well just fill up our water every time we get the chance. Okay. See, so yeah, we're gonna need to make the sand class flax. We'll, we'll probably do that. 
Now we need the clay flakes then. Where were those? Right here. So yeah, I think we need to make a green sand. Thankfully, it, it uses refined sand. We have like a million of that. So make a green sand and then uh, Sand cast flask, okay. A granite sand cast flask, which is uses actual uses rock instead of wood, I think. Hmm. They must have changed the recipe for sandcast floss because it doesn't look like you can really make it out of uh, sand any uh, wood anymore, which makes sense. Wood would you know just burn, so we can make it out of uh, either clay or stone. Maybe we should go make. Maybe we should make it out of stone because it uses different skills. Yeah, he's a stone crafting, which we have probably a higher level of. Okay, so that made a... That's actually a pretty strong sandcast. Oh, let's make a lot of stuff. So let's put that in our little box as well. I don't have any kindling, are you serious? Where'd all my kindling go? Hello, Spot Dodge. Thank you so much for the well wishes. Hopefully your holiday season is going well as well. Mine's doing all right. Some friends from out of town took me out somewhere last night. So that was nice. Hadn't seen them in a while. Cause you know, Corona. <laughs> so we went out and had a nice time. And tonight I think I'm gonna end up going and seeing some of my uh, roommates family because we're all fairly at least moderately close so I usually kind of spend holidays with them for the most part and since it's just me here it's me by myself which I don't mind but I'll probably I'll probably spend an hour or two with them and then come home and do more streaming or something <laughs> But yeah, like around like noon, I'm probably gonna call them, see, hey, when when were you gonna do stuff tonight, and you know that kind of deal. Yeah, I'm not usually big. I'm not really big in the whole holidays stuff. It's kind of never, not really my thing. But you know, I'll go spend time with people. I guess. Kind of a weird thing. We could put these all these clay flakes away too. I guess in here oh absolutely I take that I'll take that any day like I took Friday off because the weather was supposed to be kind of bad but it's not really that bad so I just I just had it was just kind of like a day off and it felt really nice and I got Monday off for the holiday so that's gonna be even nicer Cause that's gonna mean I'm gonna have a really long ass Dragon Quest stream Cause normally I can only do four hours cause like around like 11 I gotta do lunch with my roommate cause that's kinda like how we, we as neurodivergent people cope. But since it's just me, I'm just gonna probably get something pretty easy from like Walmart to eat or whatever for lunch on Monday and then just have like a long ass stream. Baby Jesus or not, we take Mondays off work. No fucking kidding. Alright. So I'm I'm trying desperately to like figure out how to make this iron ink make iron ingots. We have the sandcast flask now. We have wrought iron. We might be missing a limestone powder, but I think that's what we have here on the floor. So we should be able to craft it. We do have talcum powder too, so it's kinda like 
just a, it's just like a, a lot, but we need to make a. We need some more kindling to start fires with, cause yeah. The easiest way to do that is just get poles and turn them into little little dowels or whatever. So we will do that, and that will also give us more leaves to start fires with as well. Alright, and then, let's see, I think it's minus. We have, lo we have lots of blades of grass for a tinder. But we need kindling, so we got all these twigs now. And then these can be used as kindling as well. And then these can be used as more tinder. And we can... We can technically... Uh, no, we can't use cordage for... Uh, we can use it to stoke fires, but that's about it. I think I have a pile of cordage over here, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm attempting to make use of the iron ore I found while exploring last stream. Because I explored like a swamp island place, the underground had a bunch of iron, and we kind of grabbed as much of it as we could really fit. And our stinky little souls. Let's, let's sleep though, because I'm, it's just dark and I don't really want to, I don't really want to deal with it. We made a better bed though. It's like a little like feather bed roll. It's kind of cool. Yeah, the stream title is not totally misleading. We are trying to deal with metal. <laughs> I'm also waiting for all this grass to grow so we can have our bigger garden too. So. I have a feeling we're in, I have a feeling we're gonna need a better anvil to make the the iron uh, ingot or whatever that I'm thinking about. Cause let's see, copper ingot is. that it's copper tongs that might be something I'm actually missing too is tongs uh, thinking about it I might have tongs in one of these other chests maybe like we do there we go that's what I was missing is tongs I have a 55% chance of making this iron ingot. We did. We made. We did it. We made an iron ingot. It takes a lot of shit to make iron ingots. Our skill here is is, is lower. We probably need to make better tongs to better make our chance better to m make other things. <laughs> So let's see. There's copper tongs. There's tin, tin tongs. There's wooden tongs. I think there's probably wrought iron tongs too, of some kind. There's iron tongs, which would use all the iron we have. <laughs> Metalworking is some is serious business. The character's a little hungry. Let's eat some. Let's eat this cooked chicken first, because it's probably going to spoil before anything else. And then we'll eat one of these fish steaks. Mmm. Gotta keep, gotta keep yourself uh, alive. And all that. Like, it's fun just sitting here making stuff, but if we don't, like, actually take care of ourselves, we're going to just not be doing good. 
Okay, drink some water from our water stills. These things are very overpowered. I probably talk about probably talk about it every single time I get water because they're just that. I cannot overstate how overpowered these solar stills are. Because you basically set them up, pour water in them, but attach a bottle or a water skin or whatever, and then just fuck off for a while, and then you come back and there's water. Sun does it for you. You don't gotta start a fire or anything, which initially when you have the the, the initial water still made of stone, you have to light that on fire every single time. And then like very carefully like monitor Are we out of talcum powder or something? I think we are. We didn't have very much talcum powder to begin with. All this is limestone powder, it looks like. Admittedly, I think I kind of uh, ignored uh It might be worth it a while using this first iron to make a pickaxe out of iron. Mine five versus we have a we have like a stone pickaxe of some of some persuasion. See, so yeah, we need a. Oh, we, I don't think we have enough iron yet to actually make a pickaxe out of it. So let's go. We'll have to go get some talcum powder first. Which, thankfully, there is some talc nearby in one of the mountainsides over here. I just never bothered getting it because we didn't need it yet, but we, we need it now, so. Well, there's a bunch of it, too. That's fortunate. There's a bunch of bunch of it. I think, ooh, what's this? Oh, tin, okay, nice. Th on these uh, starter islands like this, usually the only metal you're gonna be able to find is tin on the surface. That being said, apparently you can use the tin to make some stuff too. Which I did, I thought you had to have tin and copper to make like bronze or something. That's usually how it is in most games with both metals. Is you can rarely use tin on its own to make stuff. That's a, that's a lot of talc. So let's just uh, drop that in a little pile. We'll just keep picking, we'll just keep sorting it out. Drop all granite. Drop all this talc on the floor. As far as the underground area goes on this island, it's not very good. Because there's, well, it's not very good for, uh, for metals, because I think tin's the only metal you can find on these islands. Maybe very rarely iron. But there should be plenty of talc and stuff underground at least. As it is, we got like 25 of it here, so that'll probably be enough to kind of get us going with iron stuff. Let's see, what's our weight? 64? Okay. Can we carry all this back with us on one trip? We can. And once we grind it up, it should be even lighter. And we can just shove it all in our box and start working on an iron pick. Where's the, where'd, the, where'd you come from, goat? And chicken, where'd y'all come from? I don't want to fight the goat. These goats are kind of cool. We'll tame this one and like drag it away. Slime gelatin. Not sure why that's there, but 
okay, and then we'll come over here, let the goat get close to us again, and we'll uh, release it into the wild. And it'll just kind of... Please stop chasing me. <laughs> get some logs. Since those are just a little heavy, we'll put them in our bag to carry them back. Water. And this grass and this grass right here are almost ready to be are almost done done okay so we got some seawater we need to light this fire and then we can make some slime blue and seawater you have to watch the order of your fluids because I have this medicine water for curing poison that I keep on me at all times. But, um, if I'm not careful, I could accidentally use that to craft glue, which doesn't really benefit me in any way other than, because that's why I have all the seawater that I grab all the time, is because you can use seawater for glue, as opposed to actual kinds of fluids you want to use for, I don't know, not being poisoned. <laughs> So it's just like one little, it's just one of those just little things you have to kind of pay attention to. But we got this uh, slime glue here. We should probably use that on, we could use it on our sand cast flask, because I think we, uh... actually no, we have a, we have a little, um, Pestle mortar here that we could probably reinforce instead. Reach a thousand percent in skill percentages across all skills. Oh, that's cool. Just keep making talc, talcum powder rather. An iron pestle and mortar. I didn't know you could even make pestle mortars out of anything other than stones. That's cool. the noises of like what am I crafting what am I doing <laughs> move, the, move the chin move all that to the tin tin chest if we and if we do indeed go underground to like make a bunch of uh to get a bunch of talc and stuff which I might do actually we're gonna want to have um, this pestle mortar with us so that we can just like crunch everything up while we're while we're exploring so we can save a lot of space ultimately it'd be really nice to to turn all of this uh, wrought iron into just iron so we can do cool stuff with the like make like a really cool chest maybe make like a big ass pickaxe which honestly I think we're gonna work on trying to get a pickaxe first because Right now, our little our pickaxe is uh, it's in our one of our other bags. We have a granite pickaxe, which is um, mine three, which is great. But I think an iron pickaxe is probably like mine six, which I think is just more effective. So it'd be probably smart to upgrade that first.
And then after a pickaxe, maybe a hammer would be a smart choice too. Tongs would be smart too, but those have an advanced crafting uh, level. Then again, so do the iron ingots themselves, so it's like, mm. We'll pick up these ashes. Okay, let's drop these a these ashes on the floor. Yeah, I think once we get better chests, it'd be make more sense to actually like store things in them as opposed to just the shit everywhere on the floor. Okay, that's all of our expensive stuff. Though a lot of these stones are going to just be used to make flooring like this, and maybe even walls, but... Okay, let's eat, let's eat this fish steak. Just to kind of get it out of our, our hair there. Let's see, purified water, let's drink. Fill up our, our soul. Pour that. Let's detach this container. Let's pour seawater back into here. And then we'll attach this container. That way I can have a bottle of water on me that's not my medicine water, so I can just drink water while we're down there, because... Yeah. I'm gonna- we're gonna go underground and see what, if we can find some more talcum powder and stuff. Because we're- that's- we're, what we have isn't gonna last forever. By any means. Let's put those tongs away. That on the floor. Alright, further down this way, there should be an entrance to the underground. Like, down, like, further this way. I probably should try to just dig until I find a spot that's closer. Because you can just do that, like, let's see, let's, uh... How about like right here? We're just gonna dig until we find an entrance. A lot of dirt too. Come on. That's clay, that's not what I'm looking for. It's funny though. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to find a freaking uh, underground entrance and it's giving me everything else. <laughs> it's like just layers of garbage. Useful garbage at least, but garbage nonetheless. I gotta just, like drop more stuff on the ground. See, it would have been a lot faster if I would just went and went over to um, just the one that's already there. 
instead of trying to make my own. But I am getting a lot of soil and rocks, which... Well, that's just more garden space. And I did, and I did express interest in making another garden in like a mountain part of the mountain, like up there. Just kind of dig that all out and turn it into another garden. So, God damn. <laughs> just it usually doesn't take this long to find a freaking. Uh, entrance to the underground like normally I'm like ac just digging and I accidentally just kind of find one and oh there's some water all right well cool I guess guess we should go grab another uh bottle from the floor to scoop it up although since we're here I'm curious and see if like digging underneath makes more water because that used to be how it works but I can't imagine they let that last for long oh well I destroyed it oh well there's our freaking entrance that we are just trying really hard to find Oh, I didn't know you could dismantle gra gravel into refined sand and stones. That's actually really useful. Because refined sand is something we want. And stones we can use to make more of this like kind of tile over here. So yeah, I guess going forward I'll just dismantle all the gravel we find. I guess I can probably put this bottle back on the floor too. I'm going to eat these worms. Mmm, delicious bug food snack bug snacks <laughs> all right well now we can actually see what's down here equip the main hand and we're gonna light this torch on fire do we repair it at least and then ignite oh great well oh all right well Whatever, whatever underground area we did find is like over here and we're just kind of like off to the side. That's fine. We can, we can make our way there and there's some tin here we could probably use to just like make stuff to, to level up our skills. And who knows, maybe we'll find some more, some more goodies on the way. I think I see something down there. Oh, pirate ghost! These things are early on are a death sentence if you're trying to go underground because they are uh because they can just beat your ass. But I have enough armor to make them not as much of a problem. So yeah, we have just destroyed the pirate ghost and it gave a tin spear which funny enough we can like dismantle that to get some tin to make stuff out of <laughs> although it is a better cooking spear than what we currently have so maybe we'll do that <laughs> blasting the Kylie Minogue Christmas album thank you thanks for the good luck wishes have a good time what do we have down here oh there's some talc all right that's some extra talc than I was planning on so you better Oh yeah, as you see, there's a lot of stuff down here. Look at all this tin. There's also this locked wooden chest I wasn't able to deal much with. There's some talc. Yeah, there's lots of stuff down here that's like useful. It's not iron, but it's quite useful. I think there's like a bunch of clay over here. Oh yeah, there's our uh, the entrance we had in our house. I just didn't really want to have there. Bones. Can we like cut up the pirate ghost? We can cut up the pirate ghost. 
to make exoplanet. A ghostly, weightless fluff of misty goo, strangely self-contained and quickly evaporating. Can we do anything with it? Probably not much. So we're just gonna kind of put it over here until I can. All right, and, and enjoy your life, ectoplasm. Oh, there wasn't much talk to it, but just coal, so that's fine too. Okay, drop all the granite and there's some more tin there. Powder all our shit. Okay, any of these talcum powders worth? That's a lot of credits, but I'm, frankly, I don't really care about credits right now because, like, I've got so much other things that are worth credits that I just don't care, you know? I care more about the talcum powder being useful for that than. The alternative. Now, can we dismantle this spear? Yes, we can. I got us a wooden pole and two tin ingots. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna complain about that. Free tin ingots to just kind of metal work with is pretty sweet. Go make an iron hammer. But I, w I really, really want to make a iron pickaxe, like, before almost anything else. An iron axe seems pretty powerful. Plus, plus seven damage. I think that's like three stronger than my axe. That's like four stronger than my axe. God damn. Uh, iron pickaxe, that's, that's what I want, but that's gonna possibly not happen anytime soon, but we're gonna try it anyway. Okay, iron pickaxe. We're in, that's a lot of durability. Holy shit. <laughs> that's amazing. It's actually, like, really strong, too, just tool wise. Oh, since we have the fire, I might as well make as many more iron ingots as I can. Ah, tongs! I need tongs. Our other tongs are about to break. Strength leveled up. Iron tongs! We, we, we used the last durability on our wooden tongs to make iron ones. <laughs> Is that all the iron we can do stuff with? Uh, well, let's find out. Let's find I with an iron breastplate. Iron heater, which is a shield, looks like. Iron helmet. Iron chest takes 15 iron ingots. God damn. Iron creases. An iron double axe. Iron gauntlets. An iron gorget. Iron hammer. What is this? A granite well? Hmm. Interesting. Um. Did I run out of talcum? 
Oh, I definitely got talcum. Did I run out of limestone? Oh, I definitely got limestone. I didn't. Definitely didn't run out of uh, <laughs> wrought iron. So am I just? I'm, I'm just blind. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just blind. We can make like five more um, iron ingots. Let's see, what else should I make? We can make like wheels. Use with a mine cart, huh? Interesting. One piece of the puzzle when it comes to building tracks, which consists of two of these and wooden planks. An iron sword. Ten attack, that's very strong. It's not a needle, tin axle, gorget, gauntlets, a bullet, firearms, holy shit. Didn't know they had firearms in this game. Alright, well. Grab all this limestone powder. Well, not have a uh, better pickaxe. We need to swap these around. This pickaxe is gnarly. Like, 1,200 durability. Mine, six, like I was suspecting. Like, that's gonna be absurd. We will keep the stone pickaxe for in case things go wrong and we somehow need it again. You never know, it never hurts to have backup tools. Okay, you can go in here. How's our grass looking? It's looking fine. It's growing. It's not done yet, but it's getting there. Food-wise, we got some some cumbers. Might as well eat eat. Oh wow, eating one there basically filled our hunger up. You take that. Unless there's like a bunch of worms we can grab. Drop all the soil back and we'll just eat the worms as we're going. Some more coal. I want to get some. Uh... Some limestone. There should be some down here. Wait, like up this way maybe? Yeah, there's some limestone. So this slot, I need to. I think I have to drag the iron pickaxe down to it now. Okay. All right. So now we should use that. And okay, we got four limestone out of that. Nice, okay. Let's drop all the not limestone. Okay. Grind up the limestone into powder. Limestone's a little chunky, so making powder out of it, I think, makes the weight a bit less. Yeah. Okay, and then we'll drop the rest of the stones. Close this backpack for now. Close that one for now. It's a 
put the limestone powder away, and let's see if we can find some more. Uh, I think we have a lock pick. We do. Let's see if we can, uh... Let's see if we can pick this lock. We did. It has an old instructional scroll, a leather tunic, another torch. That's actually great. And I'll grab this. Uh, don't really care about the spear. I mean, the leather could be useful, I guess. We'll just take all of it, whatever. Spear is not going to be useful for anything, but we could probably. Let's see, what is this? Learn. You'll learn how to create a cooked walleye. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> I'm, sure, I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to figure that one out. <laughs> let's see. Ten. Some more talc. More talc. Another chest here. Let's see if we can pick this one too. We failed. 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 skill is going up. Now what do we have? Wo woven fabric, tin tongs, and a tin ingot? That's actually pretty sweet. Not a bad deal. There's a bunch of limestone over here. That's good. that's lovely. What's that? Talc? All right. There's tin, tin, lime. Yeah, there's lots of limestone over here. Perfect. And there's some tin. I mean, we could have went from like scale and leather and shit to tin, and probably not really had much of a problem.
while I'm casting cheese.
I'm an asshole. How long was I muted for? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've been just like yammering on about shit and I might have been muted for a while. Oh, the joys of streaming and being a fucking idiot. Yeah, that uh, probably longer. And people are like, oh damn, streamer's ignoring me. Fuck that. <laughs> no, I'm not ignoring you. I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> Alright, um, well that's fun. I pr it pr actually, I, I, I better remember, I better know when I muted, I muted myself and then forgot. I, uh, I think earlier I went to go use the, the restroom, and I probably just forgot to do it when I came back, because, yeah, brain, brain go burr. <laughs> We don't really need this torch lit anymore. Am I warm enough? Eh. It's not like freezing in the house here. I think it's like 66 in the house because we have a, a heater. So it's probably fine. What are you doing? Little, little worm. Perish. Burn. Burn, worm. in a one-story uh, mobile home kind of deal so there is there's a, there's only one floor really so don't really know how cold it is outside I'm kind of afraid to ask let's see oh turns out it like oh it's like 12 or so outside give or take that's practically balmy at this point, like it's practically summer <laughs> compared to what it, it's practically summer compared to what it was uh, Thursday night when I was leaving work. It was like negative eight and like I had to get out of the car to like brush off some snow and like my fucking hand felt like it was turning into a lobster claw in real time. I was like, fuck. <laughs> Yeah, that's not fun. Not fun in the slightest. Uh, don't need that. This lock pick is trash now. We got a better one made out of. Actually, I have two tin lock picks. That's kind of nice, actually. Got the bunch of worms. We got some leather. Kind of just leave the leather out here in the fucking field, because who cares? Ooh, I see. I can imagine it's a pr uh, more accurate f thermometer than normal. I would assume, at least. Let's eat this delicious uh, bat steak, basically. Drink some water. Crunch up this talc that we found. Put it in here. Let's see how many iron how many iron ingots can we make? Six? Fair enough. So much for Hotlanta, yeah. 
The polar vortex is uh, does not care if where you are. <laughs> it's like, oh, you're here. That's cute. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> I uh, just like, yeah, no, you're gonna get some snow, whether you like it or not. Admittedly, like, this, for, for Illinois, this is, like, the first, like, kind of snow of the season, or I think it might have snowed, like, once other, one other time, but it's just getting kind of... Jesus Christ, <laughs> that's a lot of snow. Okay, we got some... Worm me. Let's drop. We're just kind of still just have a bunch of garbage on the floor out here because we don't have good chests yet. We have ones that are made of wood. I'm thinking of trying to spring to make an iron chest. Maybe. If I can get enough iron going for it, but. Might start just like mass producing a bunch of. Um, Charcoal. Get carbon for iron smelting. So we're gonna need uh, trees for that. And we're still waiting for all this grass to finish growing so that I can move my garden over. It just takes a lot of turns for stuff to grow. Green apple tree is ready. We've got a maple tree. I guess maple. I guess maple trees don't really uh, spread the same way other plants do. Or maybe they do, and an asshole goat just trampled it. Hard to say. Looks like the grass here is uh, has spread a little. Oh, well, should have let it finish growing. We didn't get any more grass out of that. It's kind of a waste of time. Yeah, this this game's chip to music is fucking sick. I'm not playing any music in the background other than what the game has. Like this mu this game's music fucking rocks. Oh, well. I keep pressing the wrong button. Because I have all the tools set to hotkeys. Well, when I'm playing like Minecraft and other games like that, I usually play music. But like this game is just too good not to li just listen to it. It's just chef's kiss, you know. I see you over there, chicken. What are you gonna do, chicken? Let's dance. Eh. Also, just trying to scare it away so it's not in my area. I don't really need to kill it. A branch of worth. That's weird. Shark tooth's gonna break. Oh no! My my shark tooth. How will I cope? Turn all these logs into planks, and then these planks into poles, and then we'll we'll put all the poles down and light them on fire. Like we build little one of these kind of deals. Let's turn that off because I'm tired of having stuff just laying on the floor. each of these planks can turn into a wooden pole of offering. Huh. Interesting. What we're essentially doing is we're um, setting up all these little poles in the ground and then they will burn down to charcoal. 
which we can then use for a carbon powder to make uh, iron or whatever. Or, alternatively, you can use uh, charcoal as a medicinal kind of deal. Just to make sure we're not getting shit fucked up, like starting a forest fire, we're gonna make sure there's no grass nearby. We can use these blades of grass as goat food, or we can use them just for, uh, for tinder. We can use a tree bark for kindling. It's like one tree can make a bunch of help you make a bunch of fires. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is we're gonna equip this torch into our main hand, and then we will ignite, and then we'll start fires with our torch. And then all these little fires will just burn down until they'll make a charcoal. <clears throat> and it should work this way to get us charcoal that we can use for smelting iron. But if it doesn't, then we'll just have a bunch of charcoal for medicine or whatever. Oh, this torch is starting to... In that case, let's uh, not do that because these torches are much more useful for light than they are for this. So we'll just use our fire drill, a fire plow rather, and we'll just kind of let those kind of burn down. Can I see them from far away? Not really. That's okay. And this mess over here is our chicken coop. <laughs> Use the word coop very loosely. <laughs> Cotton there is budding. I could collect it and get the seeds, but eh, whatever. Let's see. Got another 22 minutes in me for this game. And then I'm going to be contacting uh, some folks and seeing when they're going to do uh, festivities for the evening because it's you know Christmas Eve or whatever and how that's gonna go and I'll, from there I'll just, that'll determine when I stream more because today's my normal stream day so I want, still want to do that you know okay, this grass is done I'm gonna torch here Iron ingot there takes carbon powder, which is what we're trying to get more of there. Let's actually... Get our torch back out and go get some more coal while we wait. Because I think there was a, um... I got a bunch of coal over here, yeah. Okay, maybe not a bunch of coal, but there was at least some. some carbon powder then okay that's six more uh, iron I could probably make all right let's light that up and let's see resource wise we've got 20 12 16 okay we can make a 12 more uh, iron ingots, so let's try. 
Hi, Worm. What's up, buddy? What's up, big boy? What's up, Tonka Truck? He's a big old boy. All right, more iron. More iron attempts, at least. I mean, our skill is going up with making these iron uh, ingots, which is exactly why I'm trying to make as many of them as possible, because it makes our skills go up, and then everything just gets better as your skills get higher. Your tin tongs is in need of repair. Which ones? Where? Uh, oh, in here. You know what? That's fine. I wanted to use these tin tongs up before I use the iron ones. Alright. Meow, meow. Oh, you big dingus, big bingus. You big slug. <laughs> What a big boy. All right, more iron. All right, move all this iron back into the... You should have food still. Are you just being needy? Probably. That's okay. He's allowed to be needy. His his normal human, his normally assigned human is not here. Okay, and then we'll just this backpack and then our move option should be to the tin chest all right and so we've got um, maybe not recent let's see by name okay rot iron and then we got all these iron gets oh all right I'll hold you bud you want to do hard to tell he's a bit of a weird cat he's a little feral not totally feral but just a, a little feral down you go bud okay let's see can we make a let's we can try making this freaking chat oh, no maybe not <laughs> three per, three point six percent success rate maybe we won't use our iron to do that just yet we maybe our skill needs to get a little higher perhaps we should make a raw iron chest instead or maybe I just need to like I don't know suffer Suffering, yes. 
the, pr the proper, uh... Take some more floor, I guess. Cotton bowls. Fun thing I learned to stream, uh, the B-O-L-L -L is like the little like copper, no, not copper, uh, cotton uh, little things on the plant that you pick off to make into, um, you know, actual like cotton fabric. At first I thought that was like some sort of typo or weirdness that the game was doing, but no, that's the, the right term, apparently. The more you know, or something. Ultimately, I was wanting to make a, a nice big iron chest. Because if we look here, this iron chest has a uh, storage capacity of 150. This, this tin one has a storage capacity of 100. It's literally like 50% bigger space. But it takes a much higher amount of skill to do. Maybe I should get a bunch of tin and make a t some tin chests just to kind of get my skill up. I don't know. There's, it's a lot of resources to do do level grinding in this game, like a lot of resources. What slime? Hello. Uh, let's uh, let's be friends. My friends, I mean, I'm gonna clobber you. Hmm. Unless I can tame you. Let's see if I can find out uh, what you do, little slimy boy. Let's close this help stuff. Let's see. He thinks that ta <clears throat> taming the slime is not going to be possible, so we're going to just clobber it. Also, this shark is encroaching on my space. He'll <laughs> just kill it, too. Drink some water. I'll refill the water still there. We got some yum yums we can eat. We can make some glue out of the, these brains. <laughs> Let's make the slime glue first, because that's better. Grab some more water. We'll make the animal glue. And I think I want to actually, um... No, I... There's one thing I need to 100%, um... Reinforce first and foremost, it's, uh... 
Probably, probably my pickaxe. Reinforce that with the featherweight uh, thing. I don't know if that did anything. And then we'll reinforce that with, also with the slime glue. And now this pickaxe is a lot more durability, but we can um, light the furnace back up and then we can repair with a hammer. And that gets us. That pickaxe now is a lot more durable, almost double of what it started with. We've already used it for a lot of mining too, so. Neat. Well, I can't, I can't really be too mad about what we've done on the stream today because I mean, we've made some good progress on actually doing stuff with the metal we got. Although we might need to go get more. I'll take a few, a few damage to get something made. Now we're too... We are too heavy! Just drop the stone on the floor. Like if you have, if you have no stamina and you're overweighed, you'll start taking damage every time you move. <laughs> so maintaining your uh, stamina is pretty important, especially if you're working with heavy shit like rocks and stone and all that. cook up our uh, our fish steaks that we had from earlier put those in our, put those in the bag down there so that's an iron needle an iron rail iron refinement tools an iron sword for just murderizing things ten hmm. ten wheels Ten pestle and mortar. Hmm. Let's see. We got like seven minutes left of what I'm willing to use for now. Let's take a. We'll take a little nap here. We took a nap for about two hours. build that wall there pick up our wooden door so we're gonna move this wall back one because we don't necessarily like need that little jutting bit of space there Worms are expiring. Let's go fishing. Oh, hey look, we caught a fish. You cannot fish for a shark. Watch me. Caught him. <laughs> I caught the shark <laughs> with my axe. <laughs> He's like, you can't do that. Oh, really? 
<laughs> All right. Let's drop these uh, shark fins. Don't, shark fins are only really useful for uh, either turning to ashes or turning into rot. Let's see, we can make another thing of glue from the shark brains and the bones we got from something else. We can dismantle this fish to get uh, fish bits that we can cook. Yeah, we've got like a lot of food we're, we're not we're not gonna we're not remotely close to starving anymore oh our fire went out rude I didn't say I was done we'll just shove all these like chopped fish pieces in our backpack you know as sometimes you just gotta you gotta do it to them Okay, we got some apples that are about to expire. Let's eat those. And then we can eat uh, one of these, I guess. Yummy! Mm -mm -mm. Use hammers to repair hammers. <laughs> it's kind of a funny concept. You bake a hammer, and then you make another hammer, and then you use one hammer a lot, and then you use the other hammer to fix that one hammer. <laughs> it's just like hammerception or something. This map, I have no real good way of using. For now, I'm gonna just drop these cotton seeds too, because they've been kind of just in my bag for a while for no good reason. I mean, the good reason would be to, like, protect them from getting fucked up, but, yeah. yeah. These granite walls are pretty heavy, I gotta say. Alright, so let's pick up the wooden wall, let's fix it, and then we'll dismantle it. Get some logs, and then we'll just be able to use those logs for other things. There we go. That reminds me. Let's go check on all that charcoal I was gonna, I was trying to make. Yup, here it is. Even got a little bit of ash too. Cool. I got us a bunch of charcoal which should be able to turn to the carbon powder which looks like it's functionally the same as the coal so perfect that's way easier than mining coal
We can also make charcoal bandages, which are, uh, make them quite a bit stronger, I think. So we'll do that with some of this, too. Lots of, lots of bloop bloop noises. Okay, and then we got these ashes we'll just put on the ground. I think you can use ashes to like make concrete or something of some uh, capacity, but I don't really worry about that right now. Oh, it looks like it's 12, so let's uh, kind of just save and I'm going to end. Put to main menu. Yes. Alright, well hopefully there'll, there'll be less technical goofs on my end for next stream, but I will find out when the next stream is. But until then, I'm going to end my stream here. Let me put the little ending thing majig up. So, thank y'all so much for coming by and hanging out. Hope y'all are having a good holiday today and tomorrow as well. And, yeah, fun times. Let's, let's see if, I, if there are someone I can raid. Let's see. Oh, there is someone I can raid. Uh, three G's, my good friend. I don't often get to catch his streams, so we're gonna go pay him a visit. Looks like he is playing Hades, the bisexual game. <laughs> so, but by what? Bye to you too as well, Musty. I'll be. I'll probably be around later. I just don't know exactly when. I just got to figure out when my uh, roommate's family's doing stuff. But I'm gonna be in this stream, and we'll drop in and see with three G's. See you there.